everybody can hear, see me. Good morning. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday in the studio. Let me see if I am live. I uh, hear that popping on. Drop me a comment if you're here. Yes, I'm going to do a demo. Of course, I promise you, so I will. All right. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I see I'm live. There. Okay. If you have any questions, you are welcome to ask me. I do have a special guest who I'm going to be speaking to and bringing on air. There we go. Good morning, Anne. Anne, I took the night off. I needed the night off. No work, no nothing. Good morning. Good morning, Joanne. There we go. People are joining. Uh, and I have some stuff I'm going to send you after. And if you have time to jump on the phone, that would be cool. Okay. Everybody, good morning. We are welcoming so many new members into your artful journey, which I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I did. I needed to... Uh, unwind a little bit. You know what I realized? My birthday is coming up. Usually I'm like on it and have plans and I didn't really have any plans. Um, thankfully, okay, good. Just call her. Um, thankfully I ran into a few friends yesterday and they made a cool offer. So I'm going to work today on the retreat situation. So what I'm going to do all day in my laser studio because I'm going to take off the weekend of the 4th and get a hotel room with my girl, my, my daughters and some girlfriends. I have a lovely friend who manages an awesome hotel downtown San Diego. And I never like to abuse the favors. But we started talking about my birthday, and he said, what are you doing for your birthday? And I said, well, don't really have any plans. So we decided, yeah, my my daughter, my oldest daughter, my daughter, they want to, you know, we're going to do something. We're going to go downtown San Diego. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. And he told me it's easier if he gets me two nights versus one night. So there you go. Uh, good morning. Uh, I just want to say, yes, I'm going to do a demo after this. Yeah, I don't normally, like. I don't, you know, I work on the weekends and I love it. I love my job. So uh, if you guys don't notice, there are paintbrushes that all need to be checked in. There are paintbrushes over here. Um, I'm going to chit chat with you. I am going to do a demo. And I pulled out three journals. So if anybody needs or wants to order a journal, wants a free painting from me, I think I love this size. So I might use this one right here. But I pulled out three of them. Um, I thought it would be nice to paint together. And then I, I, I realized I misspoke. I didn't really misspeak, but we were talking about varnishes. Um, in the lavender challenge. And I said I had five of them. I actually have six. I forgot about soft touch varnish. And then it reminded me that possibly this isn't in my on my website. So I'll be checking for that this morning. But soft touch is such a cool varnish and I never talk about it. So I pulled it out on my desk to remind me. Good morning. I'm catching the Facebook Live before I head off for the weekend. Good morning, Judy. How are you? Mm. I also watched your Wednesday night video on my iPad. What did you think, Tracy, with an eye? Did, did it meet your seal of approval? I don't remember. Oh, that painting sold. That's going to Linda. Yes. I hope you loved it. Remember those demos are just something I do quick. Uh, uh, eh, on occasion, I get people who, oh, she's watching it right now. Okay. The verdict is still out. I really like that painting though. <laughs> she's watching it right now. 
She's probably watching me in one ear and the other ear. So uh, if you guys don't know, the doors to your artful journey are open. If you would like to join, if you're a member, I'd love to have you say what you love about it. Um, I love you. You know I love my members, but we need to add to our family. There's always a good time to do to that. Do that. I do that once or twice a year. The doors are only open until Wednesday. They're open until Wednesday um, because I go back to creating. Oh, Polly just popped in. Polly will be one of my feature members tomorrow. Today we have Kathleen. I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, I love it. I got two people. And then we'll finish it out on Monday so you can meet Anne. Uh, which many of you have met and seen previously. So if you're interested in joining your artful journey, uh, I have thrown, oh, why are there no comments popping up here? Let me just see. There we go. Oh, I just want to make sure the comments are working. Oh, that's not, oh, that's me. Sorry, that was me saying it there. Wrong place. I have too many things. Okay. So if you're interested in joining your artful journey, I put it in the description. You can also go to my Facebook page or you can, oh, or I'll just flash it across the screen at the bottom so you can grab it there. Um, there we go. Youratfuljourney.com slash membership. Okay, that makes it super easy. All right, now I don't have to feel like I need to uh, do that. Um, so let me know if anybody has a specific, this journal is what I'm leaning toward painting in. Um, I actually, this thing is sewn together. It's super strong. I have one in the larger size, but I actually ordered a dozen of these. Only a dozen. I should have ordered more. Um, and the reason I ordered these was because I actually wanted this size for my traveling. So, um, if all else fails and nobody wants the painting, I'll just take it myself and use the journal myself. Good morning, Kelly Allen. Good morning, everybody. I love it. I did ask Kathleen if she was nervous or excited. She said both. So um, let me just tell you, uh, I've not really spoke to Kathleen other than us doing a sound check, and I hope there's no issue with the sound. I'm speaking through my earbuds, but I couldn't get her to come through on my earbuds. Not the end of the world. I'll still be able to hear her. And uh, I, without further ado let me bring let me do this let me bring her in she's like hair and makeup team okay kathleen can we do a sound check with you sure good morning can you all let me know if you hear kathleen and myself uh i won't put you on the spot and make you sing kathleen <laughs> <laughs> well <clears throat> i used to sing but there's a there's a story behind that. You know that's my latest. Okay, I can hear both clearly. You know that's been my latest um, my latest little thing to do. Yes, I've I've been following you. I was in the challenge, so I know okay. that you're you're gonna sing for the soon. So it, so it's <laughs> funny. Um, yesterday I had three local friends of mine who got together to do the challenge. Um, my friend, Dina, Sonia, and, uh, oh God, Barb, Barbara. And so I'm not really like screaming from the rooftops that there's a possibility I could be singing. And then I'm, and, and I definitely wasn't handing out the dates to my friends, but then yesterday Dina texted me and said, oh, by the way, uh, you forgot we're doing the challenge. So we know what date you will be debuting. <laughs> so I only have yep. one song in my repertoire that I could really comfortably sing with no words. The other two, I'm not so keen on. I mean, I haven't memorized them yet. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe one song, but we'll see. So Kathleen, enough about me. We would like to hear about you, Kathleen, the person and the artist. Okay. Uh, well, me, Kathleen, the person. I um, <clears throat> am a retired educator. I taught um, from kindergarten all the way through adults except sixth grade. I did not teach sixth grade. Um, I found the fifth graders challenging enough and I fell in love with the seventh graders. So, um, really? I would have oh, yeah. thought 
the favorites would have been like the third graders. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. No, nope. the, the seventh graders, because I realized um, after I start, well, when I first started teaching seventh grade, I was like, somebody had to talk me into it. And it was a, a friend of mine who was also a principal. And he said, they're only kids. They need your love. And I said, they're bigger than I am. They'll eat me alive. And so when I started teaching seventh grade, that was where I was. And then somewhere about four months into it, I realized that seventh graders are very much like two-year-olds. And I love two-year-olds because they're just so eager to test the whole world. And, and that's because everything's changing and they're growing. Well, seventh graders are in the same space, just Aww. bigger bodies. You know, I mean, if you think about it, everything yes. is changing for seventh it's graders. It's so true. It's so you true. Know? So I realized I when I realized they weren't, they weren't pushing, you know, they weren't trying to push my buttons. They were trusting me enough to test these different things. Like I couldn't do that yesterday. What about today? No, that one's good. Okay. How about this? Can I do this yet? Uh, okay. Got it. You know, and just when I started viewing them like that, I just fell in love with them. Aw, what and what so a great fun. what a great advice from your friend and principal. Oh yeah, he was he was amazing. Isn't that great when something like that <laughs> sticks with you? So how long ago did you retire? Um, I retired in June of 2019. I need to close my door. I'll be right back. Absolutely. Sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, look at let's sneak look. I recognize the artwork behind her. <laughs> You should. <laughs> I even love your shirt. <laughs> Isn't that yeah? This is this is one of my I, I wasn't gonna wear this. When I went to bed last night, I was gonna wear something else. And when I woke up this morning, I thought, uh artist. See, sometimes I feel bad when I do these interviews because like then people, everybody says, Oh my god, I was so worried, I was so nervous, but it's okay, right? Oh yeah, it is okay. It's great, it's great. So, so you retired in 2019, and that sounds like the next chapter of your life. Uh, yep. And the next, well, it, it's an in-between chapter. 2020, but we all know what happened in 2020. But in 2019, <laughs> I was looking around the internet for things to do because I'm suddenly not getting up at 5.30 and going to work every day. Um, and... <clears throat> I was doing different introduction things that people were, you know, demoing in. And I took one with you and I happened to have my very first painting with you. I oh, love goodness. it. There you go. Right there. Oh my God. And that was when I realized that, you know, I could do a whole lot with watercolors and there were different things I could do. So, and then you started doing mixed media and, um, and how, do you have a preference over one or the other acrylic? I tend, over? I, I tend to kind of go back and forth. You know, I don't really, I love, I love doing the acrylic stuff because I like um, the different, the, I like the different textures and stuff that you can get from the acrylics. Um, but I also love the watercolor when I'm like working with it that cabinet right there no that cabinet right there it's the opposite one, of what yes <laughs> that one back there that one has um several sets of the uh, prima odyssey watercolors and yeah. the other one that you can just kind of barely see in the picture is my my fountain pens but oh you have a love for fountain pens too oh yeah oh that is like something that uh, they make fun of me at work because it, every time they come in they and I have to sign a document, they're like, oh, here, John Hancock. <laughs> so when did you find your artful journey then? I found um, your artful journey in, I think, early 2020. Wow. Um, I, I, I signed several of my paintings I did. I actually put dates on. 
Um, this is the That's second one. With, this is the second one in my journal. I didn't put a date on it, but I just absolutely love this one. I love that one too. I, I remember that. That was like a challenge or something that we did early on. Yes. Yep. And then I like um, I'm taking a walk down memory lane. Oh, I've got I've got lots for you. <laughs> um, and then these, I love doing these. So she doesn't do just folks. She doesn't do just um, florals. She teaches yes. you all kinds of fun stuff, like how oh, to segment pretty? out a how to segment out gorgeous. a page and um, put zen tangles in it. Then there's a lot of florals in here. There's a lot of backgrounds. What, what is your favorite part about your art journey? I should ask this. I should ask morning meditation. Is it the drawing? Is it the community? Uh, the monthly lesson? Well, my favorite part is the, the community. And um, in 2022, my, <laughs> my trajectory of being retired took a complete complete turn um to the left because my husband had a stroke and he's has aphasia and i'm primary caregiver so i spend a lot of time uh, we spend a lot of time together we go out and do things but there's not as much um, time for me to to be myself by myself yeah um and but this is where I can do that in this room, which is my studio. I love um, that. And I, you know, I use the art for that. I come in here and I do, um, I do the paintings. I do did the challenge last week. I love the challenges because it's like, okay, you have to go in there because you said you'd be there. <laughs> and there's well, people that will. I know other people in our community, um, and I know Lisa with two S's just put three purple hearts. Um, yeah. Nobody's alone in uh, life and the things that we experience. And, you know, I've shared things about, like you said, changing the trajectory of your life. Um, yeah. I think it is still important, even during those times and caregiving and all that other stuff, that you make time to take care of yourself. So. And, and everybody's telling me that and i am doing it as much as i can and i've got three absolutely fabulous adult children um two of them live in the area that i live in in northern california and they you know like this afternoon after i'm done here um we're gonna go to i'm gonna drive to brentwood for a soccer game for my grandson and that's peter's daughter and and um she's you know she's phenomenal she'll take him she'll she, she takes him once every six weeks so i can get my hair done i just go drop him off with her and they're you know it's a couple of hours i get just to be away but during well week, you rate you, you raise those kids so that's really good that that you raised good humans that want to it will be there and i laugh yeah. Oh, and and so just so you know, and I'm reading Lisa's comment, Lisa hope doesn't mind because she's posting it. Kathleen, if you need to talk, definitely private message me. It's important to take care of yourself. I yeah. Know. Oh, and we have Kelly said she's in Northern California as well, San Jose. I, yeah, I think Kelly is, I don't know. There was a, there was a, a meetup through a different club that yeah. i think some people are here with also that we're in both of them so yeah it's so um i just that's one thing about and the one thing about our group it's not a prayer group it's not a you know care group it's not a therapy group it's an art group we <laughs> share who we are through our art um and that is something that is important to me because as much as yes we just don't bring everything into the group because you guys are there to not have everything with you. <laughs> yeah. You're there to paint. Um, we have somebody else and I don't have her name, but I'm the caregiver for my mom. So I understand in many ways. That is one of the reasons I decided to join. Um, all of the lessons are self-driven. You don't have to pick up and go like sequentially. 
I purposely have done that. You literally can pick and choose when you want to do the lessons and they're there and they don't disappear. That's that yeah. what was very important. And uh, that's one of the things that I like the best about it is that, you know, if, if I'm having one of those days where, okay, if you say one more word to me in that tone, I'm just going to go off. It's like, you know what? I think I'm going to go paint for just a little while. Let's give me about a half hour in the studio. This is that another is, one that we did. That is, that's oh, not that's floral. the butterfly. Yeah. That's the, that butterfly is so dang famous. <laughs> yes, that, that butterfly, butterfly is famous. I also so, if, um, so you've kind of given an example of having worked, a career, retired, and now being a caregiver. What would you say to somebody who's like on the fence? I'm not sure I have time, that kind of thing. Because you just mentioned, I don't. I can go in for 20 minutes in my studio and it makes a big difference. Um, just... You do have time. It it's really it's that simple. You do have time. Um, the morning meditations are really only a half hour. Yeah. And and if you don't have a whole half hour, you can go and and you know do the backgrounds in the morning, and then come back in the afternoon or after work and and do the rest of it. You have well, and background you dry anyway. showed me that that tag book you showed. So she showed that's an album she bought that can be done remotely, like sitting on the couch. So good. Yep. Yes. It, it comes like this. Oh, and one of my lavender tags is going in here. Oh, good. That's what I was painting on. So everybody was asking yeah. what tags. Yes. You I mentioned that. And I went, oh, I can, I have that tag. Absolutely. Polly, who so, I'll be talking to tomorrow, is also a caregiver for her, her husband, so she understands as well. I think it's nice to know in this world, no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. It's something that you know others have experienced, and I absolutely love that. Oh, my God. Well, anything. Oh, I don't know why I flash it. Go for it. Share, share, share. And this one, these are 2023. So I've got, this is a stamp. Yeah. You know, I've I've gone from that first one to these different ones. And then I have that one, the one that um who was on yesterday morning. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, Lisa. Lisa. Oh, that's I see I saw that behind you. I have this one. So I did oh this God. one too. Oh, that was a good one too. Man. Yeah. <laughs> and and this one I did mine on um a canvas. A ca it's canvas. not a full canvas. It's a canvas board. Yeah, canvas panel. Yes. Yeah, I love these. I do too. I do too. So, so, any last things you'd like to say to somebody out there about your artful journey? Your artful journey is the best thing you can do for yourself because it is for yourself. And you get all these wonderful people to to communicate with i there's been a couple of times where i've had a problem with something not working and i'll text ann or email ann and within like an hour i've got the answer so kathleen she sometimes gets in trouble for that well i don't I she mean, doesn't she doesn't seem to grasp normal business hours <laughs> is there such a thing no and that's what I, quite honestly having somebody like that that is available uh has been um so handy okay so there must be a thing with teal because kelly just noticed it and yesterday lisa's room was teal my back wall uh, only one of my walls is teal and yours is teal <laughs> yeah it's one two walls are teal the other two walls are wood panels they came with the house <laughs> I painted the teal. I didn't notice that, but I'm like, yeah, I, it's my favorite color. So it's a good color. Oh, it's I tiny. just want to thank you for, oh, here, Anne is justifying. Anne sure loves to help folks with any questions they have. But I have and to she remind does. her on the weekend, you are logged out. You Well, I, as listen, Oracle Journey members, you know, that's when we There do. is nothing better than you want. Um, 
somebody representing your company and representing them in a way that is so beautiful and nice, which is why Anne uh, works with me. Yeah, she really is. Everybody will be able to meet her on Monday. Uh, I've asked her, she's got her hair and makeup team coming in. She'll probably wake up at the crack of dawn and she'll be all beautiful. She shows up beautiful to our meetings on Tuesday. And I, I like, I come skidding in with my hair on a ponytail. So <laughs> anyway, Kathleen, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, A, for being a member of your artful journey, for coming on here and doing something probably you don't do every day <laughs> and really sharing a side of yourself that I didn't even know either. I don't get the opportunity um, to um, like get to meet everybody in person. And it feels good when I get to like talk to you guys. And I was thinking, um, I think after we do the uh, welcome, we've done this a couple of times, I'll just do like a Zoom so everybody can, um, talk to one another and I'll just sit back and watch you all get to know one another. <laughs> um, speaking of Zoom, I have yes. a once a week part-time job as a Zoom program manager. So I run Zoom rooms. <laughs> just okay. throwing that one in. I love that, but that's the, a next your next chapter. That's part of your next chapter. Oh my God. Yep. And it says, thank you, Kathleen. You are just lovely and your art is beautiful. And so many people are writing in here. Thank you. Uh, thank you to you. Thank you for sharing. So I will let you carry on. Enjoy the soccer game. Oh, we will. Yep. And then I am going to do a free demo. If you need to log in later, you can watch it. Okay. Thank you. And thanks thank for having you. me on. I love being oh, here. Well, you guys, I would do this for a living. Like, if anybody's looking for an interviewer, I saw it. it I saw it. Uh, somebody say you would be great at that. I love to talk to people. I could talk to people all day long and just ask them questions. Judy, I do want to read your comment because I thought this was lovely. She said she's been a member of your artful journey since 2021. She had never dabbled in watercolors before and hardly did any acrylic painting since high school. That was, she said, that was one decade ago. Um, I just love her, everything I've learned from Tracy since joining her tribe. It's our tribe. Her down-to-earth approach and sense of humor has given me the confidence to paint. Also, all of the monthly lessons are easy to follow. Great selection of videos to look through and choose projects to work on. Love everything about your artful journey. I did not pay her to say that, but I need to copy and paste that. <laughs> I, that endorsement goes a long way. Okay. If you're curious about your artful journey, I'll take you and just show you, by the way, um, I love her art as well. I know that was an awesome interview. I feel so lucky that I get to do this stuff. Um, okay, if you're interested in joining, I'm gonna real quick share my screen so you know uh, where and what it's about. There is the uh, page, I keep looking at it, it's scaring me, four days, four days. Uh, welcome to your artful journey. Technique classes, props and challenges, absolutely. Time with me. <laughs> Here's just some of the projects we've done. I don't know, there's zillions. No, we don't just paint flowers, but I love them. They're a great teaching method. Uh, the cost is $37 a month or $370 a year. Uh, uh, uh. There is a bonus gift if you sign up for a year. A, you get two free months. And B, you get uh, a journal that I created. Oh, it's over here. Kind of like your own, your artful journey. I don't even think founding members have this, so they would be uh, crazy to know that this is, I made this myself on my laser. I use, uh, these are my journal diaries where I write down all of my ideas that become artwork or challenges. I sit on the couch, map my week out. Um, some of them are just filled to the gills and I don't care how it looks. Um, there was a bonus hydrangea heart workshop that should have been turned off at midnight, but the email went out late. So I don't, know if it was turned off. So if you're thinking about signing up, that might still be an offer in there. Don't know. Uh, the doors close in four days, 15 hours and 55 minutes. 
uh, I will say this, any of the questions, if it doesn't work out, it's not something you're interested in, you don't have the time. I will tell you this much, when you join, you get all, oh, Joy, uh, so Joanne has one. Uh, you do get all of the lessons from day one. I'll share my screen and show you what it like, and then I'm gonna do the demo. I promise, is this it? No, it's right there. Share that screen. Okay, let me go back. So when you log in, actually there is a login screen, yourartfuljourney.com. Oh, hope I'm not showing you my password. That would really make things fun. Um, here, right here is view the product. This is, this is where all of the lessons are housed. So as long as you're a member, you have access to this. There's access to our private Facebook group. In 2020, Three, we started something called Creative Time Live, but you do have access and you have all of the lessons since I started in 2019. Um, also bonus mixed media makers content is in here, but I combined everything and I put it in by year. So it goes 2022, 2023, 2024. So if you just decide to join for a month and make your way through, I don't know how many months of lessons that is, um, good luck. But every month you get the monthly lesson that is released at the um, by the first of the month. I don't think I've ever been late. Uh, I already have May planned out. We're going to be doing hummingbirds. And you get the dr bonus drawing lesson, which we started in 2023. And I asked everybody, do you want to keep, uh-oh, headphone popped out of ear. I asked everybody, do you want to do that in 2024? They did how to make this little flip book of sorts. So I do have this like flip book where we do all these exercises in. So some of them are just, they're all like 15 minute exercises. We've done, oh my God, we've just done so much. But this basically, are, these are basically flat. Yes, some of them do make whole flowers. These are basically um, flashcards for art journaling. I made that book a long time ago. That's how I learned. So every month I give, and there's a handout that goes with every one. So if you're curious and you say, I wanna just print that handout and have it in front of me, you'll have it. Creative Time Live, uh, that we have January, February, March in there. Um, I will be doing April's on the 29th. When I do uh, the, that on the 29th, uh, that's going to be our new welcome, um, new member welcome. Couldn't get all the words out. Okay. And then morning meditation is the other. That happens to be my favorite because it's the truest of how I got myself back through uh, a divorce was every morning. And now I do it in the evening. Um, I did 15 minutes of art journaling to do something creative for myself. So morning meditation um, is 20 minutes to jumpstart your creativity. There's January, February, and March. We basically, we I, I give you uh, the beginning. And if we finish, great. If we don't, then everybody has to finish it on their own. So it's great to see how everything turns out. But that's in essence what your artful journey is all about. I'm excited for the hummingbirds. By the way, a lot of the times my lessons are all based on things that you guys want to see. For example, I keep a list um, of all of the things that you mentioned. Uh, I had something else planned for May, but May is my birthday month. My spirit animal, I feel like, is a hummingbird because I just move like one. <laughs> um, I painted this. This was just something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get three of these done. The outline is actually in the panel. I don't know what size yet. I should pop in the group. I wanted to do a series of three. But I'm also going to show it how to do it in your art journal. And, um, oh, we got a new man book. Okay. I also want to show how to do it in water. This is watercolors. And somebody said, are you going to? You you want one of these? I was thinking, what size, Kelly? This is five by seven. I don't know. I was just thinking um, 
Alice fell off the wagon. You, you need to get back on the art wagon. But the interview and the hummingbirds are just what you need to get back. I like this size too. But I'm going to do three of them. And the, the, the hummingbird is already in there. So the outline is there. But I wanted to, okay, I'm going to do three of these. That was just a decision that was made. Okay. All right. You want to get back on that wagon, Alice? Now is the time. Now is the time. Okay, do I have everything done? Tomorrow I'm going to do um, a live demo as well. Oh. Who wants to paint with me? I think I'm going to do this book. Oh, wait, I got to add another camera. I wish my production team could keep up with me because that would make um, things so much easier. Kidding. What time tomorrow? Eight o'clock. So Tracy's going to be a good girl. Not going to do anything tonight. Actually, don't know. Don't know if that's true. All right. I'm going to throw that away because I know what I'm doing. I'm always ready to paint. Polly is locked and loaded. All right. I'm going to do this size. Nobody needs to buy this, but if you want to, the painting will be for free and I just pay for the journal and the shipping. What can I tell you about this book? 48 pages. And it's sewn in, okay? So I really like it. Watercolor paper, super nice, good quality. Uh, by the way, painter's tape, I had people asking. I, I just put it outside. I have 50 rolls of painter's tape. And yes, I'm going to order the delicate. So I'm going to go look. Oh, what the hell is that? What? I need to order it anyway because I need it. All right. I just made the decision to, so painter's tape, I'm going to do order the delicate and get that into my shop. Thank you guys for supporting my mom and pop shop. That makes me feel good. Business was so brisk this week. I got almost all the orders out, but I feel like this tape, you know why I did this? I did it before. I felt like the tape took up too much of the page. <laughs> so I'm going to do another, a smaller size. My goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um, Anne, <laughs> Anne, Kathleen would like to buy, she's such a love. I, now I just want to reach out and hug her. Um, I think, <laughs> okay. Uh, Diana said, I wonder why I can't see the chat. You're uh, viewing this on uh, YouTube, which is fine. Most, all of the chat appears on my Facebook page. Just of, I am, I am streaming across a few platforms. That's why. So if you want to go to my Facebook page. Okay. Sorry, this journal is taken. Oh, Kathleen, I needed to know what your favorite colors were. Well, you know what? I'm just going to guess. Okay. I don't have something in my eye or I'm crying. All right. I'm sorry, the journal is taken, which is scary because she didn't tell me. She did not tell me. Look, we see you though. I see you. Diana, you have been seen. Oops. She said next time. Yeah. Okay. Hope. All right. I love this book. How about bright and bold? How about just the classics? Like, let me, I got to save that tape that I tore off because I can use it. Um, I don't know if my classic set is, by the way, I've come up with a beginner's kit. I'll start top, where is my classics watercolor set? Where are you hiding? Got to be close. It's the one I use the most. There it is. Um, I did come up with a beginner's kit. She said all colors. I get, there you go. I, I get creative uh, freedom to do what I would like. I'll show my whole screen here. All right. I get creative freedom. Now, this is under a half an hour. I'm going to set my other camera up so I can watch this in time lapse. Oops. That is not what I meant to do. No, I don't want to activate a credit card. Okay. Here we go to save the day. Nope. Stop. What are you doing? You're bugging me. Hmm. 
Oh, you are, there we go. Time lapse, geez, all I want. All I wanna do is have some fun. Turn up my lighting. All right, here we go, people. Well, that's not gonna be good if you can't see it. All right, oh, that's bright. She bright, I don't want that. Oh, she loves. You know, she said, she mentioned essence. So I'm just gonna push it off to the side. I feel like I did essence the other day. My, yes, I did. All right, so this is the classic set of watercolors. If you need something to get started in your life, um, wet them down a good 30 seconds soak. I also have tropicals here. I think I'm out of some of these colors on my website, but for the most part, I think I have them. All right, just wet that down. Bright and bubbly today. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, a brush, usually a size six will do me. Round, hello, Connie in Ohio. Good. Uh, I don't have any water in here. What the what? I don't have any water. How do I not have water in here? You guys, I have to have water. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Can you still hear me? <laughs> oh, go, golly. Oh man. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. My water bucket is in the dishwasher, so <laughs> I had to get, I had to get a wine. That's what I'm gonna use. Okay, let's let's paint. Oh my god. Sorry about that. I just all right, wet that down. It's gonna get into the orange and the yellow here. Oh. Oh, now I dipped it in and I got scared that it was my teacup. See, I'm not used to that. I Yes, I'm adding a bunch of stuff. I have been working, working myself to the bone. Okay, how, how, for those of you who are scared when the watercolors run together and you have no control, we're gonna scare you today. It's okay. The only color I really never use is white, just so you know. Just one color. I, I mean, on occasion I use it, but for the most part, I don't use it. Let's go loose today. That scares me because I'm so used to labeling my, there we go. Oh, she is just, just, just gorgeous. Let her run. Let her do its thing. Okay. Oh, this is the mood I'm in. let that dry a little bit and settle. Now, since I saw Teal in her office, we'll get that all wet. Uh, it's a hard part of letting go of perfectionism. Well, that's just, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. And we all know that. So I'm just letting this dry. My next flower will be like right here. Oh, what happens if those two roll together? Don't panic. Don't panic. Just be happy. Let's get into this yellow because my other yellow kind of got dingy. Let that go. I love this book. I love this book so much. I'm going to order a bunch more. I only ordered 12, so. Let it, let it go. Let it go. I need a third flower in here because I do. How about red? How about red? Like right in this corner. Oh, this is actually the red in this set is my favorite color. Like.
Do you think that's not odd numbers? And then I'm going to give the light green in the background. Actually, that green in the tropical set. I just want this to be kind of layered. We'll figure out that. All right. Now I'm going to let this dry a little bit because when I put that green in, I just don't want it to go crazy. That's how you keep your... Um, Ted, this is the classics. This is tropicals. Classics, tropicals. I wanted to go kind of bright and bold just because um, after talking to Kathleen, I saw bright and bold. I loved her shirt. I loved her essence. Oh, she said essence. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I can't tell you how it affects me to meet fellow artists and your Artful Journey members and know that in some small way, maybe I'm making a difference. Maybe... Maybe what I truly believed in helped me is helping others. So that's my thought on that. Now, wet on wet. I'm going to come in here with my dirty water. Because why not? Just go in here, wet that up, and start dropping in some green. Drop it like a tot. Drop it like a tot. Doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. It can be messy. Best way to start my day. I will be going into my studio after this, uh, my workshop, my wood shop, and cutting wood. Oh, um, what do I mean by that? I'm going to be making all of this stuff for the art retreat. Oh, I hope you like this, Kathleen. It's just giving off easy and schmeasy. Oh, look at that. I didn't even, oh, thank you. It's funny. Um, I feel like uh, you put good stuff out, it comes back to you tenfold. I love that. We have new members joining. Oh my God, if you're giving shout outs. Good, good, good. Love it. All right, we're done. I'm kidding. We're not done. She loves it. Sometimes it becomes a little more daunting when I volunteer to paint something for somebody and they buy it before there's any um there's anything on the page. Cause then I'm like, well, why maybe you're not gonna like this. Um Kelly Allen said your art has helped me. Your art has helped you. I just get to be a, a, a part of it. Thank you. So true though, your art has helped you. Me too. I'm not doing anything that hasn't been a part of my life. Um, I don't represent products I don't like. I don't do art that doesn't agree with me. I don't, nope. And I truly believe that art is what pulled me out of my depression post marriage, uh, the divorce process, which was extremely hard for me. Um, and then I started sharing it. And then I joined it. I actually made a community of like minded souls to get together. Uh, that is something I truly believe in. And, and we don't run the, I don't run the company any other way. Okay, I, you can just use a, okay, I added it on my website because people said uh, they didn't know about them. You know what, let's just do it. Hold on. I probably have one. Oh, maybe I don't. I have to have one. Oh, I should add these on my website too. I should add these on my website. I have a thousand of them. Hmm. You know what? Sharpie, you're a good friend of mine. I'm putting those out too. Okay, you're a good friend of mine, Sharpie. I'm looking for the dual tipped one. Oh, you know what? I have one right here. I'll just take it out of, yeah. I added these because I try to prove to you all that you don't need expensive supplies. So if I am going to say that, you can do just about everything. Look at that. It has the 
fine. No, ultra fine. One pet. Okay. I just, I'll have to, I'll have to buy this one myself. Uh, here we go. You want to make sure this is dry. How do you do that? Just do this. Take my hairband off. I bought a couple of dozen of those and then somebody went and just placed a huge order, said she was getting together and friends and wanted to treat them. And I thought, oh, that is so lovely. I don't know how much I want to like Sometimes I have to just remember to pull this way back down to the basics and do be true to what I, I do. And remember that this is how uh, I went outside with just a dual tip Sharpie way back. Now, you know, you up your game with other supplies. So I'm not saying I don't up my game. Oh, look at this. I do the lavender fields while I'm with a group of crafty friends. I plan to give the pieces to my friend for her 65th. That was just an amazing week, wasn't it? So this, I'm just skimming the pen over the top. That's what I love about the lavender fields thing. You know, you start sharing your out art, it becomes a whole different game, you know. Also helps build your confidence and you're giving the gift of yourself. This is just a don't know what is. My flowers don't need names. They're independent. Margaret said, I haven't painted in a while, but I'm looking for, oh, well, your painting missed you. It's written on my wall. Do something creative every day. That doesn't necessarily mean it's painting. It could be designing something, drawing something, you know, uh, going live with you guys. I consider all of that part of my process that's gotten my head back into some sort of shape. I didn't say it was in the best shape. I just said it's in shape. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to a friend of mine, the one I'm singing with, and I said, we both were agreeing that life has taken us to some wacky doop, like great places. But like now I just feel like I'm in, I'm in home. I'm in home in my own space right now. Okay, now the other side of the pen, flip her around. We're just gonna sit here for an hour while I do this now. It trust me, it's doing something. You have to make the sounds when you're doing it. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I want you to do. Do something creative every day. Maybe I made a, maybe I leave this earth having just made people find that creative side. That's, that's what it's all about. Oh, and I'm not talking about going anywhere too soon. If God <laughs> shall permit me to be here for a while. Now, another secret weapon. 
I love this aquarellable pencil, which by the way, I will get on my website because now I can. I got uh, an account with an art supplier now, so I'm I'm legit. She's a real deal now. That way I can keep my costs down to you guys. And um, But I'm just a mom, you know, I'm just a mom. I'm, I'm not just a mom, but I'm a mom and pop shop. I'm not a pop though. Don't got one of those. Do 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 Oh, the closed caption was saying that 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 that. that. <laughs> Too legit, too legit to quit. Some days, some days are diamond, some days are stone. But one thing I do not think, well, this is it. She's thrown in the towel. I mean, a couple times I have, right, Anne? Anne knows. A little more scribbles. Okay, now I'm gonna go outside, create hummingbird stuff, create the name badges for the retreat and the journals that I'm personally making for all of, with watercolor paper. Uh, that'll be something creative. Now, if, it think, if you think I'm doing this awfully fast, I am. You know I am doing it fast? Because I, I, I'm not trying to overthink everything that I'm putting on here. Okay, that's important to me, number one. Number two, it's just a simple morning meditation. So why overthink that? Why make it more than what it is? It's creative exercise in my journal. That's all she is. And a special gift to Catherine. She never gave me her singing story. She never gave me her singing story. That turkey. Now, ooh, because of you, I've added watercolor to my greeting card creations. I love it. Okay. Do we feel like there's one? I feel like there's, I just need, I, I, I don't know why, but I need like a, okay. Just an implied leaf out there. Okay, she good. Oh, okay, I'm going back into the watercolor. Oh, 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 okay. I'm gonna go back into the watercolors with my thin little brush here. I'm looking at which color I'm adding. You know what I think? I'm gonna go back to this right here. Sometimes I'm never, I, sometimes I say I'm done with the watercolors and then I lie and I go right back into them. It feels weird putting my um, paintbrush into a cup that I normally drink out of because it's so, it's I have drank my paint water before. Um, and it doesn't taste good, just so you know. So tomorrow I have uh, Polly, who will be going on live first, and then I'm going to have Julie uh, join us. Ooh, what did I do there? I may not know. Okay. Uh, then I'll have Julie, and then I will do another demo and just keep the fun a rolling. And then Wednesday, the doors to your artful journey, they close. 
So just so you know, and then I go back into my painting hole. There we go. I really enjoyed that. Now, I would like to splatter this, but I do not want everything to get messy because this journal now belongs to Kathleen. I'm going to take my water here. I'm going to take the black. Kind of harder to splatter with watercolors because you kind of have to figure out what the exact water to paint ratio is, but. So oh, there we go, I got it. A little bit of water. Try not to splatter everything around me, including my, myself, because. Oh, can't help it. I just want to splatter. So if I want to splatter, I'm going to splatter. Oh, and I'm going to splatter the water right out of that jug. Uh, I did this with a Sharpie. So you don't need to. Oh, she sang with the community choir for five years, but had to stop because rehearsals had me away from my husband for too long. But my children, and my husband are working out a way for me to go back. I hope to rejoin in September. Oh. <gasps> Another church choir. I love it. Thank you. See, I did get that story out of her. I knew I would. All right. I, I, I think I'm done. We're going to remove the tape now. Let's see. Did I splatter? No, I didn't. Thank you for sharing that. See? <laughs> now I'm going to warm this tape up. Just make sure everything's dry, too, because we did this kind of quick. It's 857. Guess what? I did exactly what I said I would do in the time frame. Now let's just hope my tape held. I love this tape. This blue tape just seems to do really well. Pull at a 45 degree angle, pull slowly, heat it up because sometimes that paint, that tape likes to grab on. Also, if your tape is real old and gets gooey, that's another indication that A, you're not painting enough and B, it's time to replace that tape. It just kind of over time, you'll know like, Let's see how that came off like butter. All right. Now I have to sign my artwork for Kathleen. And I'm going to do that. Now she has another journal that she can, that painting is for free. I'll just send her an invoice for the, uh, the journal, which still has 47 pages because I painted on page one for her. Um, I love this. Uh, oh, this is, I mean, I love this whole process. I didn't mean I love the painting, but I do like my painting. <laughs> I do like my painting. Um, thank you, Carol Lawson. That is lovely. Kathleen, wonderful. Okay. Um, I think we're dry. I think I can prop her up. Just a simple little bright way to start the day. Ba bum bum. Any, oh, don't forget to join me tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. We'll be talking to Polly first. And um, then we will talk to Julie. Julie happens to <coughs> live. This is weird. One day she, it popped. Uh, look. First off, what stopped me was I wouldn't drink out of a wine glass at 9 a.m. Um. Literally just was picking that up to take a sip. Julie lives when when she said Brighton, Michigan, uh, that is where I'm from. That was where I was raised. Actually, I was, I'm from Detroit, but then I moved to Brighton, Michigan. And she lives, she, I, knew, I know exactly the street she lives on. Like if I go home, I'm going to be like going down that lane going, I know exactly where she lives. Um, and, uh, she joined your artful journey and has a daughter just learning about her. I, I never met her in person, but that's kind of cool. She literally lives in the street next door to my elementary school. So just weird, small world, small world, but giant, like, you know, you know, weird way. 
All right, you guys, uh, don't forget, you can sign up until Wednesday to join your artful journey. I will see, do something creative every day. I just showed you how to do something in less than 20 minutes, okay? I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a wonderful day. And if you don't mind, I need to chit chat with you. Bye, guys. Talk later. Have a good day.